Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mousetrap Genius. You know, a few months ago, we looked at the Floatron Outdoor Electronic Insect Killer as an efficient and environmentally friendly way of dealing with an outdoor flying insect problem. But what if you have an indoor flying insect problem, as is likely to occur as the weather keeps on getting warmer and balmier outside. Bugs just love to get in through open windows and doors, and when they get in, they tend to stay in and cause all kinds of problems. Wouldn't it be nice if there was something like the Floatron, but that is safe to use inside your home? Well, it turns out we found something like it. It is the Aspatec Indoor Bug Zapper. And the guys at Aspatec were kind enough to send us one of these things to review for you guys on the channel. First glance, it works very similarly to the Floatron. It has two UV bulbs inside, and this is available in either a 20 watt or a 40 watt version, depending on how big of a building you're trying to control the insects in. And it has a kill grid, which we like because it's made out of these parallel metal rods, just like in the Floatron. And if you didn't watch that video, the reason the rods tend to be better than the meshes you see over many of these lamps is meshes can get clogged up with dead insects, and after that happens, they don't work anymore. Whereas these rods just allow the insects, after they've been neutralized, to fall down. And in this trap, since they can't just fall on the ground like they could with the Floatron, it actually has a little collection tray right here, which you can remove and empty into the trash. Or actually, I prefer to empty it into the compost so these guys can just go back into the whole circle of life. The Aspartec Bug Zapper also comes with a chain, which you can attach to these little hooks right along the top of it here, and hang it from a post or hook inside of the room that you want to use it in, so it doesn't get in the way. So, looks like a really well-designed electronic insect killer, but as always, the question is, will it work? Well, a few days ago, I went and had the windows open in my house all day long because it was so nice, but then I realized that evening, oh no, my house is full of mosquitoes and flies and moths. I was upset, but then I realized it was a good chance to test this thing out. So I set a camera up and let's go ahead and watch what happened right now. Okay, you guys, well, as you can see, the Aspartec Indoor Bug Zapper worked really well, and we would feel very comfortable recommending this trap for anyone who's trying to deal with an indoor insect problem without chemicals or ugly fly strips or anything like that. Are there any drawbacks to this trap? Well, just one, and this isn't gonna be an issue for most people who are just dealing with one or two insects at a time, but if you do do what I did and set it down in a room that had literally hundreds of insects in it, you're gonna end up with a little bit of burnt insect smell. But that won't be an issue for most people because most of you will be killing your insects one at a time and hopefully not letting them accumulate to swarming, gigantic, apocalyptic proportions like I did. Just thought I'd mention that though, because it could be an issue if you're dealing with lots of bugs. Anyways, you guys, really 
good electronic insect trap. We will post the link to it down on Amazon in the video description in case you'd be interested in getting this for yourself. And if you do decide to purchase it or anything else on Amazon, we'd be really honored if you used our link. Don't forget to subscribe to Mousetrap Genius on YouTube if you haven't done so already. And go ahead and check out our Facebook page because we're posting all kinds of cool stuff on there. I'll put a link to that down in the video description too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mousetrap Genius. We hope it was helpful. And until next time, hope you have a great flying insect free day. See you later. Thank you.